What's going on, arcade nerds? Uh, I got a new game in the collection. Well, I've owned it for quite a while, but it's actually finished. It's a done machine, and uh, I'm just excited to have it. Um, <clears throat> can you guys guess what it is? If you've seen my channel, you might you might have seen me talk about it on Facebook. But it's been an ongoing project for me. No, I mean, I could have got this thing done in, in um, a week, but I'm not rich. So it took me a long time to get this project done. Uh, all original parts except for one thing, which I do have, but I just haven't fixed yet, is an A. Uh, I, don't, I do not have a special monitor that goes in it. Oh, this thing gave me troubles again. I rebuilt the high voltage, and now it's weak. It worked perfect for a while. If you leave this on for an hour or so, uh, it'll come back. But, I don't know, it's not capacitors. So, I don't know, I might just swap out the Keltron box. But, uh, anyways, my, game, my new game, my new game. My new game is a Quantum. Um, <clears throat> and it is right here. But, uh, yeah, right now I, uh, I took out the Vectrex out of my Vectrex arcade machine. And uh, I'm currently building monitors and selling them on Facebook. And there's my Tempest. See, I'm, I had to move the Tempest out here because uh, I had to rearrange some stuff. I wanted the Quantum in there. But, uh, <clears throat> I only have the the circuits with the vector machines on right now. That seems like I just mostly just play the vectors lately. Um, but, oh, uh, anyways, <clears throat> I got, I, all right, a guy called me up and he says, hey, Jason, I'm having issues with my quantum. And so over the phone, I said, yeah, by the way, I have the wrong overlay right now. I cannot find an overlay. Anyways, he, you know, I was talking to him on the phone and, <clears throat> Um, he eventually uh, got his quantum running and I was talking talking to him over the phone I said well measure this point measure this point and so on and uh, he says what can I, what do I owe you and I says nothing don't worry about it he said and he, so he says is there anything you're looking for and I said man I'd love to have a quantum marquee since I don't have one yet and he, and he says well uh, I got one but there's, there's some flaking in the black now, so now, if if uh, if you've ever touched up a marquee, you 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 may already know that flaking in the black that is is an, um, it's almost not flaking at all. You can touch up black, so you could never tell. And so I was all excited. I said, yeah, heck yeah! What I, what do I owe you? You know? And so uh, he sent it in the mail, but unfortunately, it looked like this. Hey, Jason, the mail came. Oh, this must be the marquee. You know, this is a quantum marquee. Oh, I can't wait to open it. I, I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. Yeah, so I couldn't go with that marquee. <laughs> but, uh, but I ended up, <clears throat> I've ordered translites from different companies and usually I'm not very happy with it. Um, I'm actually, I, usually, I, I always regret it. But I ordered a translite from a company called ArcadeMarquees.com. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. And it's beautiful. Man, they did a hell of a job. From now on, ArcadeMarquees.com is where I'm getting my translites. I, I really like it. Um, now, originally it did not flash like this. I kind of like it this way. Uh, I, it's, it's those cheap LED strips. Um, here we hit white. And I just go right here where the sensor is. And now that's a solid white, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, so, um, let me, you know what, <clears throat> I'm going to show you, uh, something real quick before, before, because, uh, because I, I want to play some Quantum. If you haven't seen Quantum, I think it's an awesome game. It's a shame there wasn't lots of these made, you know? Um, but, uh, I want to show you what I'm doing with Vectrex monitors real quick. And if you're interested, oh... I probably shouldn't show you guys because I got more people interested than than I can build monitors. But um, uh, contact me and I can tell you how to build them yourself. 
but let me show you let me show you a, a little short thing about Vectrex monitors real quick. Okay, I have been uh, building and selling um, Vectrex monitors, but they're not really Vectrex monitors. They are monitors adapted to work with the Vectrex. Um, <clears throat> they're pretty cool. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, and, and you know, uh, one thing that's big in the Vectrex community is they guys like to put overlays on their Vectrex, which is basically a film of plastic that you could put over the screen to give it the simulation of color. Um, but one cool thing about the uh, the 19 inch models that I'm making here is they did make overlays. I mean, that one right there is blue. These are original ones. I kind of like the uh, the original Star Castle. That's kind of cool. Uh, but there's different kinds, you know. And <clears throat> a buddy of mine gave me some of this stuff, which is kind of interesting. You can put that over over the screen to give it a red tint. And uh, I'm going to make a video in the future, here at some point, where I'll tell you guys how to how you can uh, make your own overlays at home for dirt cheap. Um, but yeah, so basically these are just 19V2000s or uh, Electro Home Geo5s or whatever. But let's go back to Quantum. Okay, we're back to Quantum here. Uh, now I mentioned earlier that uh, this is the incorrect monitor for this game. And it is. This monitor will work with this game, but it's not the correct monitor. And I do have all the parts to build the correct monitor. But I haven't done it yet. I will sooner or later. Trust me, it'll bother me until it gets done. Um, <clears throat> but um, this is a Wells Gardner 40, uh, blah, blah, Wells Gardner 6100 monitor. Now this is a color vector that was in um, Temp Tempest and so on, Space Tool, Gravatar, Black Widow, etc. And <clears throat> this is supposed to have an Amplophone monitor in it, uh, which is what is in my uh, Star Wars here. Now I have five or six, I probably have enough parts to build five or six amplifones. I just gotta do it. It's just sitting around. Uh, when I got this together, I got the side art on and everything. It looked beautiful. I just want to see this thing run now. So, <laughs> for now, it's hooked up this way. Also, the overlay is, uh, this is actually a new old stock Tempest overlay that had a big dent in it. And so I cut the dent out and I put this here for now. Uh, I cannot find, please, if someone, if someone has an extra quantum control panel overlay, uh, I'll love you forever. I, I really need it. Um, so, so right now, I have a chopped up, ugly looking Tempest overlay on here. Um, so yeah, let me do some gameplay. Now, <clears throat> there's something, man, focus. Isn't there some kind of camera with super focus or something? But, uh, hey, there we go, there we go. Uh, yeah, so let's play a game. I'm gonna hit player one start. Oh, you know, but before I start this game, let me, let me tell you this. Um, there is an option, the person with the highest score... Okay, well, first off, Quantum saves its high scores, okay? But, the very highest score, it gives you an option that you can use the trackball and draw your name, like this. See that where it says Betty? And I was thinking, oh man, maybe, just maybe, I can get a non-volatile RAM pull off the original RAM chip and uh, stick it in there and then maybe it'll save the the drawing you made because that that drawing has is too much data they did not make it savable back then you know so you unplug the machine you plug it back in you lose that data so I was thinking man let's put a non-volatile RAM chip in there and try it and I did it doesn't it doesn't work evidently uh, I learned from from a buddy of mine that there is a part of the code that actually clears that area of RAM so you don't get garbage on the screen when it displays it after a reboot. So if any smart people out there that know how to do programming can remove that one section of the code that clears the RAM for this drawing, I'd greatly appreciate it because then I could make a kit that would save that drawing. Anyways, enough, enough bull crap. Let's play the game. I'm going to do one player. And when it first starts out, you have this guy right here. And I'm going to uh, circle number one. And I'll show you a trick you can do in the earlier levels. Or you'd have to be really good to do it in the later levels. You See, the idea of this game is you circle something. And you, you basically get rid of it. But if you're quick, you can... 
continue to circle it until it doesn't let you circle it anymore. But when it gets later on in the levels, there's too many things going on on the screen, and you, you don't really have time to do that. Here we have a trackball. The very beginning levels are like super basic. I think they allowed for a learning curve. And uh, now let's get past the first couple levels and I'll show you how crazy it gets. myself really I gotta pay attention. Now that oh, this there's a new thing on the screen. That will grow, and and you're you cannot hit hit where it's growing. Does that make sense? Yay! Oh, jeez. You know, I really do play a little better than this. Honest. Okay, now here's a bond. Now, eventually, this line will turn red, and you cannot cross this line. But I'm gonna. But first thing I do is wipe those suckers out as soon as possible. Oh no! Oh, I feel like I feel like doing this over again. Anyways, I hold player one start, and I can draw. My name. That's the one thing that I wish I could could keep, could somehow save when the screen starts over. Because it's kind of like, me, you see, me and my son, we go back and forth on this game. And uh, it's kind of like something that would like tease you, like, haha, there's my name's on the board, you know. But it also gives you the option to save your high scores. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh well. Didn't have, didn't, didn't have enough time to put my P in there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that's Quantum. Oh, man, I almost feel like just playing it again to, to get somewhere. I don't want to make this video too boring. But, yeah. Quantum! And you know what? I can't say enough. Uh, maybe I just had... I'm taking the camera off the stand right now. Maybe I just had a lucky marquee... I don't know, but I mean, I can't say enough about uh, the marquees from ArcadeMarquees.com. Now, in the camera, you can kind of see the, the black kind of, is kind of see-through, and that's my major beef with translites. But uh, the camera is kind of exaggerating this. In person, this isn't so black. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, for example, some of these, like Gravatar, you cannot see through that. Space Duel. You can lightly see through the black. Black Widow, you can see through that. This, this is a dedicated original Black Widow, silk screened and all, but you can see see through the black a little bit. It's kind of interesting. That always bothers me. That always bothers me. I got a um, an overlay, a replacement for my Star Wars, and this is the one that bothers me the most. Because, I mean, that black is just, oh, the camera's making, see the camera makes that look bad. It makes this look good. What the hell? But uh, you can see right through this. It's, I don't know. I don't like the black to be, I almost feel like painting it. it just pisses me off. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was Quantum, guys. What'd you think about Quantum? Um, please give me some ideas on videos you want to see. Um, I like doing this. I got I to get started up on uh, doing these videos again. Uh, it seems like every time I make a video, um, the channel gross every single time I make it make a new video but uh, yeah uh, Black Widow oh I love that game I get, did I make yeah I made a video on Black Widow I kind of want to redo some of my old crappy videos where I had the cell phone 
Anyways, anyways, I have, I have a request for you guys. I imagine there's a lot of you guys on YouTube that just go on YouTube to check out YouTube, you know. But you may not, you may not be signed into YouTube and so on. Please take the time to sign into YouTube. Get, get, it's, it, you don't have to pay for nothing. Just get into YouTube and sign in so you can leave comments down below and so you can like videos and so, so on. I mean, I'd imagine there's many times that you wish you could have made a comment, but you don't have a YouTube account. But, have a nice day and uh, have a, have a good day. <laughs>